So the first week or so in Norway was spent in the northern parts of Norway, especially around Lofoten. During our second week, we planned to explore the western parts of Norway before steadily making our way back towards Oslo. After Innerdalen Valley, we went towards Atlantic Ocean Road. We're gonna react to the bridge. To I don't know how it how looks. How it looks. might be like, oh, nice. Uh, no, we can't see it. We can't see it. No, I just want like a Whoa! what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. We can't see it yet. <laughs> so sick. Okay, so you want me to spam? Huh? You want me to spam photo? Yeah. Okay. So at least one of them is good. All right. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> it's just you walking along a road full of cars. So I'm gonna keep walking until until there I get to the sun. Okay. Cause you still look perfect as days go by. We are at a place called Little Feelet and we're at the start of the hike and everything just looks so beautiful. If you look down here, that's just amazing. And if you look up there, it's just fog everywhere with snow. And up there is where we're going. I'd stop the world if it gave us time. Cause when you love someone you open up your heart When you love someone You make room If you love someone And you're not afraid to lose them you probably never love someone Like I do You probably never So we just set up tent at Little Feel It Summit Or Summit of the hike That's a, that's a whole different hike up there But we set up tent tent we got the view amazing sunset happening and there's actually a specific spot around here there's like a little pond where we can get like a nice reflection and have that mountain in the background you'll see you'll get a better view in a moment today is probably the only kind of day where we've been relaxing at on top of a mountain most of the hikes have been very intense and we've got there really late so we set up tent late slept late woke up early so we were like tired and I was tired so I wasn't really filming as much but today is a very chill day and yeah there's the lake there I don't know if you can see it but we're just waiting for a few people to move out of the way for our shot um, the shot we're trying to get what well, Andres is trying to get is Leon and I standing on the other side of the lake as if we're walking across and getting the reflection shot with this gnarly mountain in the background and it looks like someone had like a wedding here and I don't know how they brought it up these are all wood pretty pretty sick not gonna lie so yeah just waiting for those those guys to move out of the way and we get that nice reflection here with the mountain in the background like I do when you say I just wrapped up shooting sunset at Little Feel It and I don't even have to talk. I think this is probably the best sunset I've ever seen in my life. Like, wow. Today we're gonna hike Romsdal Sagan and it's an 8 hour return walk. 10.3 kilometers. We were at Little Feel It yesterday and today, where are we? We're somewhere on the map and we're gonna hike this trail. Unforgiving hike. <laughs> I don't have a microphone on me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I 
Oh. Oh. It's not real. Wow. So this hike itself was actually around eight hour return hike. It was supposed to be eight hour return hike, but I think we made it a 10 hour return hike by going through the valleys where we got to see different kind of vantage points, you could say. It took us around four hours to reach the halfway point. So hopefully the other half will also take us four hours. Yeah. And also uh, we are actually not not too far from where we were yesterday at Lit Lafilet. Lit Lafilet is somewhere there and that was a mountain we were taking photos of and we were camping around here so yeah this valley is just crazy the lake itself that runs along the middle of the valley here to the ocean over there incredible So check this out, craziest ridge I've ever seen. We're hiking this down. I've never seen such a steep ridge. This is insane. Delightful view of the, on our right and a death view on our left. By the way, this thing hanging on my left here, that's a trash bag. I needed both hands to walk, so I tied it onto my back. Make sure you take all the trash with you, all right? Don't litter around. Be a good person. Save the planet. This hike has been so crazy. We walk through valleys. We walk through snow. We walk through mountain ridges like this one I am walking now. And we walk through just rocks and rocks and more rocks and boulders this is, has been probably one of the craziest hikes i've ever done and the longest hike i'll probably ever do <laughs> but the views they are so worth it every time i look around it's just amazing what is this how do you get down there what whoever made this hike has probably a little bit something wrong with their brain and i don't know how they thought that this was a possible hike i mean it is possible but like <laughs> if you look at the terrains it's stupid i think that hike that we did yesterday was probably the best hike and the best um i took the best photos there and i really enjoyed myself whilst i was there so yeah and you still look perfect as days go Okay, so we are literally five minutes away from the car. We took all our camping gear, hoping to find a campsite, but all the grounds were rocky. So we decided to come back down. We've been walking for more than eight hours. We started at 2.30 p.m. and it's currently Yes! Oh! If you We've done it! Someone, and you're not afraid to lose them, you probably never love The next day, we headed to Trollstegen, I think that's how you pronounce it, for a quick stopover to see the side of the infamous road, and after that, we headed towards Labatna. So we're at a place called Labatna. And it's basically a glacial lake where the glacier has melted and become a lake. And the waters, take a look at that. Turquoise, turquoise. How, what, like. I'm currently multitasking at the moment. I'm flying the drone and doing the vlog. But this light and all these waterfalls around. Waterfall? Hey, Leon! <laughs> Waterfall, 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 and the glacier just hitting the mountain peaks. Just, it's, 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's fucking gorgeous. Hodavika. It had one of the nicest ocean colors I've ever seen, especially from the ground. But Mother Nature had something in store for us that we did not want. What is going on, guys? Today we're hiking a bit of an unknown hike. We've been climbing for around 20 minutes. This incline has been fucking crazy, but the views are incredible. We're gonna try to go somewhere along the edge here, get a nice shot of the beach. The glow is super nice. The winds are crazy strong. Oh, my cars are killing me. This wind is crazy. Can you wave at least? At the summit, it was way too foggy and we could not see the view at all. So we went back halfway down the mountain to take better photos there. But again, it was very windy and the fog started drifting downwards. Shot. There he is there. This is a video before I die. If I die today, I am walking literally on a 60 degree angle down this hill. Oh fuck! Down this hill. And it's pretty treacherous. I got the photo. Oh. Now I'm back on the trail. Believe it or not. This is the trail. Pretty far. I'm gonna go down. See you guys later. My fingers are frozen. Bye. The wind up there was legit hurricane as you guys saw, but we made it down safely and it was so good to be alive and warm. On the way back to our Airbnb, we stopped at the top of the road to fly the drone, to take photos of the road and the crazy fog we were engulfed in on the hike. But when you love someone, you open up your heart. When you love someone, you make room. I'm still pretty skeptical about how to pronounce all these places but on our way to an island called Shin we took a little detour to check out a lighthouse by the ocean. The further we headed west the stronger the wind blew across the places we visited. As you can see we were having a pretty hard time shooting. Balance. After visiting Shin, we were pretty much on our final turn towards Oslo. On the way to our next location, we stopped by two waterfalls called Fagerfossen and Voringfossen. She said, Baby, I'm afraid to fall in love. So what if it's not reciprocated? So after years of settling in their base, they're fucking off. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good run, Leo. Show me the photos. 